Welcome all, let's get down to the business of selling. I know that at the end of the day, you need customers to buy your products and services, which is why the selling track features sessions for small business owners like you who are ready to sell products, services, and virtual goods online, in store, or in person. Our first presenter is Darlene Tran. As a GoDaddy brand specialist, Darlene has helped so many businesses and side hustlers that we've lost count. A familiar face for those who watch GoDaddy's webinars and trainings, Darlene works with customers around the world to get them prepared to sell online. I am especially proud of the work Darlene and I did together at the start of the pandemic, creating online courses for the GoDaddy community, including ways for small businesses to navigate the disruption resulting from COVID and find successful paths forward. Today, Darlene will help you hit go on growth and see what's possible with cross-channel selling tactics by showing you both current trends and the future of selling, including why selling anywhere matters more than ever. She will explore how small businesses are evolving and the challenges they must overcome and give you real world examples of how businesses like yours are successfully selling across all channels. Welcome to the stage, Darlene. Thanks, Emma. Good to be here today. Welcome to our first session on selling. In this session, we're going to take a look at how you can expand the reach of your business by selling across multiple sales channels. My name is Darlene Tran, and I want to thank each and every one of you for taking the time to watch this presentation. The last year and a half have been challenging to all of us, and just you being here tells me that you're ready to take on anything that comes your way. I'm thrilled to be joined by so many amazing entrepreneurs that aren't satisfied with the status quo. And that's why I'm excited to talk to you about all the ways that you'll be able to control your own destiny and grow your business by ensuring that your products are available on all possible sales channels. I started at GoDaddy as a guide about three and a half years ago, helping entrepreneurs realize their dreams of starting and growing their own businesses. And in my free time, I like to build websites with new business ideas that I have, like bread baking, PC building, or anything just for fun. I shifted my focus and started working on the brand team here at GoDaddy a little over a year ago. And my focus now is on some of the content that you may have seen on our YouTube channel. I also work with the customer education team and am featured in a lot of how-to videos on our help page. But today I'm going to be your guide. Throughout this session, we're going to take a look at how you can future-proof your business and brand. We'll also cover some trends on how small business is evolving and provide some ways that you can stay one step ahead. And of course, we'll show you some real world examples of how other GoDaddy customers have adapted and continue to evolve in our fast changing business environments. Those are some broad objectives. What are we actually going to see? We're talking about three key things. One, you need to be where your customers will be. Two, it's easier than ever to sell anywhere. And three, social media is where it's at. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to talk about should be no surprise to you, and that's online shopping. The business landscape has changed and popularity in e-commerce is not slowing down. Trust in online shopping is higher than ever. More than 54% of consumers increased online spending since early 2020, and 67% of young consumers aged 18 to 34 are spending more online than before 2021. And to be honest, it's kind of rare that I go out shopping at the moment. And while I do miss window shopping in person, I feel like I live on websites like Amazon and Etsy and others. It's something that I look forward to doing more of in the future. But we all had to make the step of going online with our businesses, and that's why you're here. There's no doubt about it. Starting a small business is hard, and maintaining and growing your business can be even harder. If you don't have an online store set up yet, you're missing out. But the good news is we're going to show how easy it is to do that right now. We've created easy to use tools for you to get your store online so that your products can really shine. Here, let me show you. I'm going to start off on the dashboard for my websites plus marketing site. Click edit website and then scroll down to where I want the store on my homepage. Click add section e-commerce, online store, and then click add. And you can click add products to start adding some products. 
I'm going to add a t-shirt with my business logo on it. From here, you can add a product image and manage the details like product type, name, and price. You can add product categories, customize the SKU to help you track inventory, and adjust the tax category. In the last section, you'll have the option to leave a product description, adjust the inventory and customization options if that's something that you want to do. Enter shipping information like the weight and dimensions of the products and how you want to determine shipping cost. The search engine field will add a link to this product automatically once you save, and you'll be able to adjust that if you'd like to. Once I'm done, I'm going to click Save and then Save and Publish. Now the store is online. Your customers will be able to see your online store now. You'll need to upgrade to an e-commerce plan to be able to sell. And GoDaddy has some great options for that. The same goes for taking payments. There are multiple options for taking payments, such as PayPal, Square, Stripe, and even GoDaddy payments. It doesn't take much work to get your online store set up so that you can focus on selling your products. Okay, now that the store is set up and I've started selling some of my products, how do I get the word out that I'm in business? Just having an online store is only going to grow you so far. There are some easy ways that you can get your products and brand in front of new eyes and hopefully new customers. That's where harnessing the power of big brands comes in. Let the big names like Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Google, and Walmart do some of the marketing for you. One thing that these brands have in common is that they are titans in the e-commerce world. Your products should be on their sites and they can do some of the heavy lifting for you. So it's a win-win partnership. And the best part is you can easily connect to these marketplaces as well as sell and manage your products on these platforms right from within your GoDaddy websites plus marketing account. Here, let me show you how to connect to a marketplace. I'm going to start out at the dashboard for my site. Click Commerce and then click Marketplaces. You'll see options for Amazon, eBay, Etsy, Facebook, Instagram, Google Channel, and Walmart. I'm going to connect to Etsy, so I'll click on Etsy. Click Connect Your Account. Since I'm already signed into my Etsy account, I don't have to do that here. But if you weren't signed in, just enter your login information. Scroll down and click Allow Access. Now I'm connected. I can list products, import listings, and sync my inventory right from within my GoDaddy account. One exciting new marketplace integration with GoDaddy Websites Plus Marketing is Google Channel. You can connect your Google Ads account and Google Merchant account within the Marketplaces section of your GoDaddy account. And don't worry if you don't already have a Google Ads account or Google Merchant account, you can create one there as well. And once connected, you can run a Google Smart Shopping campaign. With a Google Smart Shopping campaign, you'll be able to select a goal, budget, and add your products. And once launched, Google uses machine learning over a 15-day period to optimize for more sales. It works to get your products to the right customers at the right time across Google channels such as Google search results, Google display, YouTube, and Gmail. And that's a lot of people. We're talking the possibility of millions. And business owners who have run smart shopping campaigns have seen an 18% uplift in conversion volume and a 23% increase in return for every dollar spent. Here are some tips for running a smooth smart campaign. First, you want to ensure that your website doesn't include any counterfeit, false, or missing information. And boost your website quality by reducing load times. You want to add customer reviews and unique selling points like fast shipping, 24-7 support, or free refunds. And make sure to double check that your product URLs work. Once your campaign's rocking, you'll be able to manage it and view metrics from within marketplaces in your GoDaddy Websites Plus marketing account. You'll be able to perform tasks like pausing or deleting campaigns and even editing your daily budget. But the best part is that you'll be able to see how you're doing throughout the entire campaign. And we're very excited about this partnership with Google because it gives you that added power of Google's channels to get your products out there. Business is no longer online and brick and mortar only. 
The key to doing business is being where your customers are and selling to them when they want your products. Whether it be at an ad hoc farmer's market, your storefront, even talking to a potential customer at your kid's soccer tournament, you have to be ready for the business opportunity. And the bottom line is you wanna be ready to sell anything, anywhere, anytime. Being able to sell in person is something that you wanna get in on. You might even already have a physical retail location, but if you don't, GoDaddy is here to offer some ways you can get in on it, even if you don't plan on having that retail location. As you probably saw in the keynote, we have some pretty amazing new products that will give you the tools to succeed in so many areas. GoDaddy Payments is fresh and will continue to grow with you. And you'll have the ability to create online pay links that you can send out to your customers via email, text message, and social media. Virtual Terminal will allow you to take credit card payments without the need of additional hardware. All you'll need is a browser-enabled device, like a computer, smartphone, or tablet with an active internet connection. And if you plan on accepting payments using a physical credit card, GoDaddy also offers the card reader that works in harmony with the GoDaddy mobile app, and even the smart terminal if you have a physical retail location. There are so many options for you to take advantage of so that you don't miss out on any of the opportunities to sell your products and services. And we've talked about selling in person and how easy it is to set up an online store on your site that's connected to multiple marketplaces, but we haven't really talked about how people are shopping online. What devices are people primarily using when they shop online? I think for most of us, that's our smartphones. Everything has shifted and will continue to trend in the direction of mobile first. It's just the instinctive way to shop now, right? The good thing is that the website builder included in Websites Plus Marketing optimizes your site and online store for mobile. Understanding your customers and their habits is important so that you can always be in the know on what's currently trending. What do we spend a large portion of our free time doing on our phones each day? Some people spend their time shopping, some play games, but a large portion of the population spends it on social media. And social media has become a necessity in our personal lives, and it's a great place to sell. Take Facebook as an example. There are about 2.85 billion monthly active users on Facebook, and Instagram has about 1 billion monthly active users. That's a lot of potential customers. If you're selling on those platforms, how are you selling? Are you linking back to your online store in a post? Are you adding products to the marketplace? We've done some of the heavy lifting for you. If you have Websites Plus Marketing, you can connect to your business Facebook page and your Instagram business account in just a few clicks. It's basically the same process that we covered earlier with connecting to Etsy and marketplaces. If you have an online store, your inventory will sync and people will be able to see your products on your Facebook page and your Instagram profile. They'll be able to select items and pay for them right through Facebook or Instagram. When you sync your online inventory to Facebook and Instagram, you'll be able to fulfill those orders from the Commerce Hub, and that's pretty awesome. And since you can also boost ads on Facebook or even run an ad campaign on Facebook right from your Websites Plus Marketing dashboard, you can blend marketing that has a really good price point with directly selling to the customer with order fulfillment, all from the same spot. It's my pleasure to introduce you to one of our amazing customers, Kat Hernandez. She's the owner of Juanita's Plants. Juanita's Plants is a plant design and delivery service based in New York that was founded by Kat. She had a love of plants since she was a child, and her mother helped cultivate that love of plants as her house was always loaded with an amazing variety. To Kat, no home is actually home without plants. Let's take a moment and let Kat tell you a little bit more about herself. It feels really, really good to have found my calling <laughs> during a pandemic. I'm Kat Hernandez and I am the founder slash owner of Juanita's Plants. Juanita's Plants is a plant delivery service here in New York City. We deliver to all five boroughs. We also do plant decor for offices and people's apartments. The early days looked like me going to plant nurseries. I would select the most beautiful plant and I would rush home, create a little photo shoot, and I would use my phone, take pictures of these plants, and I would post them on Facebook. A lot of people would just message me, so it would be a lot of messaging people back and forth, and then boom, the rest of my week would look like a bunch of deliveries to all over New York City. 
selling plants on Facebook. It was kind of difficult to keep track of orders and inventory, and I was just winging it as to what was like available at nurseries. Creating my website on GoDaddy definitely impacted my business in the sense that I was able to monitor the orders, the sales, what was selling, what was not, how much inventory I had, and sort of really just organize myself in that way. Now I have something a little more structured and organized, you know, to really run a business successfully, as well as a presence. I needed an online presence to show people like, hey, we're like a legit business and like, you know, we got it going on. Selling online is a little bit easier for me because I'm kind of introverted. Meeting a lot of people, it gives me a little bit of social anxiety and stuff. And I'm kind of like pooped at the end of the day for meeting like so many different people. But I'm, I'm working on it, I'm powering through. <laughs> Initially, when I started doing pop-ups, the goal was to make sales. And I was like, hey, I just wanna you know, sell more plants. But pop-ups are actually helping me with networking and meeting new people. Once people know your business exists, you have a good product, like it kind of just flourishes from there. My advice to all entrepreneurs is just do it. Stop second guessing yourself if you have an idea for a business. Make a plan and believe in yourself. It's a lot of just believing in yourself. Keep going, keep believing. Doesn't matter if anyone gets it. I would never trade this for anything else. I love Kat's story. She's truly doing what I think all of us want to do. Make a living doing something she loves while also being her own boss. She's also paying homage to her grandmother by naming the business after her, and grandmas are so very special. Her dedication to herself and growing her business is inspiring. I also love how she started out. Kat started her business by selling plants out of her apartment towards the beginning of 2020. And that shows some bravery. And I think a lot of us can get stuck at that point in the process. Kind of that, where do I start loop? She wanted to do everything the right way. So when things started to take off, she got her business name, obtained a wholesale license for plants, and then started to think of ways that she can take her business beyond the apartment. One way that she did that was with her online store. Let's take a look together. This is Juanitasplants.com. And I really like the graphic art mixed with the photography of her plants. Another thing that I really like is that she has her best sellers featured right on the homepage. And she's done a great job with the images of her products. The contrast of the curtains in the background really makes her plants pop too. Right now, the only place that Kat's selling her plants online is through her shop, but she has plans to grow her online sales. In the future, she wants to start selling across multiple marketplaces online. In fact, she has an idea to offer some beginner kits on Amazon. Bundling products like that is a great way to introduce new stuff and hopefully build that customer base. And you can just tell how passionate she is about her products. She even has plant care tips with videos to help pass on her knowledge to her customers. And that's awesome. Let's take a look at her shop. Oh, nice. I really like how she has her plants categorized, putting them in categories like beginner collection, large plants, low maintenance, and pet friendly. That's inclusive for some of us that may be a little nervous about caring for plants, but really want to add some to our homes. I also love that she has a mystery box. Those are a lot of fun and they give your customers that element of surprise. Even though Kat has a love-hate relationship with social media, she understands how important it is for her business and she's embraced it. She has a Facebook page and Instagram profile for her business. She does a great job connecting with her customers by providing plant care tip videos, information about new products, and notifications when popular products come back in stock. She also directs her customers back to her online store for any purchases. But one thing I think would benefit Kat's business is if she connects her online store to Facebook and Instagram so that her customers can go through the checkout process right from the post. Juanita's Plants is a great example of a business that's dedicated to growth, evolution, and the spirit of sell anything, anywhere, anytime. Kat partners with local like-minded retail stores and has been invited to set up a pop-up shop in their stores to sell her plants. This gives her the opportunity to connect face-to-face -face with her customers, as well as a place for her customers to see the products in person. And Kat's already taking advantage of what GoDaddy Payments has to offer. She's currently using the point card reader to process credit card transactions at her pop-up shops. And she has plans to open her own retail location in the future. That means that her business will grow alongside GoDaddy Payments. 
I may sound like a broken record, but Kat's amazing. And I'm so happy that I was able to share some of her story with you. Don't hesitate to connect with her on social media and definitely go check out her plants. We've covered so much in this session, from setting up an online store in minutes to connecting your online store to big name marketplaces, how social media needs to be a part of your business and being ready to sell anything, anywhere. I hope that you're thinking about ways that you can future-proof your business, stay ahead of the trends, and grow by finding ways to sell anywhere. Don't forget to sign up for one of the networking tables so that you can meet and connect with each other. It's going to be a great time, and I'm sure you'll come away with some great info. And if you're on social media and you want to post about this event, don't forget to tag us with hashtag GoDaddyOpen2021. And join the GoDaddy community to continue the conversation at community.godaddy.com. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to attend the session. I'm Darlene, and I wish you all the best.